can imagine, you know, moving around okay at night. The sensors on my legs are designed to track any leg movements or twitches throughout the night. Anything that might disrupt my sleep, like restless leg syndrome. The sensors on my chest track my breathing and my heart rate. If you suffer from sleep apnea, you can imagine why monitoring your breathing and your heart rate is such an important aspect of a sleep study like this. From there, sensors that were attached to my head track my brain activity. Measuring brain activity is how technicians determine your sleep stage at night. So you get a really accurate sense for not only what stage you're in, but also how long you're in that stage. And then she attaches the box to the wall where all of these signals from your body get sent to a control room that's adjacent to the room where I was sleeping. He literally just right here showed that he had a little sleep apnea and a destructive event and he aroused and his legs kicked. That's basically what we're doing when we're watching them at night. 